Steins Gate is a time travel anime where a lot of things were done right. And I don't just mean the consistency of the events, but I'm also talking about the science employed to explain the time travel happening. Timelines are one of the core concepts that show up in Steins Gate, and they are represented by individual lines that Okabe is able to travel to or between when time traveling. That's to say, he doesn't necessarily travel back into the same timeline, but instead travels to an alternate timeline. Now, the big conflict is that these timelines tend to converge on strange attractors, which causes Okabe most of his grief and explains why it's so difficult for him to stop Maori from dying. Now, this is a little strange uh, and not really consistent with physics, so we'll talk about that later. So this representation of timelines is consistent with the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. Now, I don't want to get too deep into the theory here, but I do think it's something worth spending at least a little bit of time on. See, quantum mechanics is built around something called the Schrodinger equation. This is a partial differential equation that describes the wave function in quantum systems. It's important to note that this equation is also linear, which means that if A and B are solutions to the equation, then A plus B are also solutions. You can also multiply them by different constants, uh, depending on you know, how you're normalizing the system. These solutions are called eigenstates, and the solution of the Schrodinger equation is what we call a superposition of eigenstates, which is just adding them together. When a particle that is behaving like a wave is observed, it experiences something called wave function collapse, which means that it is now represented by a single eigenstate. There's a certain probability that it'll move to a given eigenstate, which is determined by some complex math that we won't get into. Suffice to say, this leads to a probabilistic interpretation of reality. And a lot of physicists didn't like this, including Schrodinger himself and Einstein. Schrodinger even devised Schrodinger's cat, uh, which you may have heard about, uh, which is a thought experiment where the cat is in a super superposition of both alive and dead states. Uh, and this, is, this was done to describe the like, inane nature of the interpretation of quantum mechanics where it's probabilistic. And this is called the Copenhagen interpretation. However, there is another possible interpretation of quantum mechanics, and that is Everett's many worlds interpretation, uh, which originally <laughs> the physicists did not like, um, but they've warmed up to it some. Copenhagen interpretation is still more popular, but the many worlds interpretation is has gained some ground, I suppose. Um, and it, it seems to be at least a a valid interpretation of quantum mechanics. Um, anyway, the Everett's Many Worlds interpretation states that all eigenstates are real and that there is no wave function collapse. Uh, this would mean that there are possibly infinitely many worlds where each eigenstate is represented. Now, this, this does not necessarily mean that each world is real to the observer. And there's still some debate about whether these worlds are real or unreal, but I guess it doesn't really matter that much. In Steinsgate, they are described to be just mathematical constructs until they come into reality, which means uh, in the anime they are not real. Either way, the superposition of states explains the timelines in Steinsgate. Now, it's important to note that these describe the behavior of particles. Macroscopic systems tend to behave differently, at least as far as we understand. So, you know, we are playing a little bit there, but still pretty interesting. Now, in Steinsgate, a core plot point is the existence of a strange tractor that tends to converge the timelines into one reality. This is why it was so hard to say Maori, for example. But the thing is, for linear equations like the Schrodinger equation, this is not possible mathematically, uh, which is a small detail in reality, um, but definitely something interesting and one of the areas where Steinsgate maybe doesn't quite get the physics right. So the actual existence of different timelines is explained by superposition of states, but we haven't discussed the actual time travel yet. Uh, this is explained to occur due to a Kerr black hole. Uh, and that's pretty interesting to me because a Kerr black hole can create uh, space-time geometries where closed time-like curves exist. These basically mean you go back in time, make some change, and that change always happened. It can affect your current self. 
This does open up the possibility of the grandfather paradox, where if you kill your own grandfather, then you'll cease to exist. This sort of interpretation of time travel is not really compatible with the many worlds interpretation, but that sort of changed in the 90s. Uh, this is because a physicist named David Deutsch developed a theory of closed timeline loops that take into account quantum mechanics of a system to try to get around the grandfather paradox. Essentially, it says that if you had some probability to be born and you go kill your grandfather, you still have some probability to be born and you'll appear in that universe with that probability. And this is consistent with the many worlds interpretation of the time travel mechanics that Okabe transverses through this story. Uh, as an aside, this is actually a pretty interesting theory because of potential applications on quantum computing. If you're able to arbitrarily clone quantum states, then the Heisenberg uncertainty principle becomes somewhat meaningless and you can violate it. Uh, and that means you can crack a lot of quantum encryption. And it also has some interesting applications for quantum computing that we won't get into, but still pretty cool, pretty interesting, and something to maybe watch. Uh, anyway, I hope this video helped elucidate the science in Steins Gate. And if you liked the video, uh, you know, please like it. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you next time.